Okay. Okay. Uh, now, the next slide, you can see the, the Chinese character Weiji and also, uh, Korean. also Korean uh, character uh, Weiki and uh, also the the Japanese language uh, Piki. So, so, so we find uh, uh, during the coronavirus, uh, then the next page, uh, the next page, please. Yeah. So uh, during the coronavirus, we find uh, in China, in Japan, and Korea. in Korea, uh, in our language, uh, when we mentioned uh, the Weiji, uh, Weiki, or Kiki, so there are, there will be two meanings. One is uh, for the crisis, and another is uh, for the for for the opportunity. So so we think. Uh, uh, when we encounter the coronavirus pandemic, uh, we can think of how to reduce uh, the impact of the crisis, and uh, how to and 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 how to enlarge uh, enlarge the impact of the impact of the opportunities. Yes. So 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 I think uh, maybe we can find uh, the answers uh, from uh, international standards. So the next page, please. The next page, the next page, please. Go to next page. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. So we, we find now in ISO, uh, now in ISO, there is a standard uh, under development. The title is uh, Service Excellency Principle and the Model for Customer Center Organizations. So, in this uh, international standard, uh, we can find uh, some models or some answers. So please go to the next next page, move on. Yeah. Okay, we continue move on. Yeah, please uh, let me to see the figure one, the service uh, excellency pyramid. Please help me to change to the next page. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's okay. We, we can find uh, when we mentioned the, the service uh, excellency, there will be two levels. One is uh, customer satisfaction, another is uh, customer delight. So, uh, so we think uh, before the uh, coronavirus, uh, maybe when we when we talk about marketing, we only to to can reach the level of the customer satisfaction. But now we can think uh, how can we to achieve the customer delight. So in this. Uh, Document uh, there is uh, some model and uh, some of the definitions. So go to the next page. Yeah, this is uh, now there is a, a definition about uh, the customer delight from the ISO. Customer delight uh, means uh, positive uh, emotions experienced by the customer derived from either uh, in, intense intense feeling of being highly valued and or by expect, uh, expectation being exceeded. So this is the definition of the customer delight. So now we will go to the, 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 the higher level, not only the customer certification, but the customer delight. Okay, now let's go to the next page. In next page, in next slide, we can see the figure two. Figure two illustrates the service accuracy effect chain. So we can find from the left to the right is the implementation of service agency, agency service, outstanding customer appearance, customer delight, customer loyalty, higher financial and non-financial results. Uh, this is the, the service agency effect chain. So go to the next page. Yeah, next, next, continue next. Uh, in in next page we can find the seven principles of service excellency. So including uh, managing the organization from outside in, customer attentiveness, people make a different difference, balance attention to customers, employ, employees, subcontractors, and other stakeholders, and also including cross cultural management approach. Uh, lever, uh, lever, uh, 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 leveraging of technology and also. Uh, also including create value for stakeholders. So now we can how to how to do what is the service X model. Go to the next page. In next page, 
we can find another model. Yeah, this model is the service accuracy model. Uh, we can find uh, there are uh, uh, nine steps, uh, nine steps to achieve service accuracy. Uh, uh, go to next page. We can see some the uh, some sentences. Uh, next page. Uh, uh, next page. We can find uh, there are nine steps to achieve the service accuracy. So please help me to to uh, move on to next page. Yes. Uh, yes. This page. You can see uh, during the uh, go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. It's okay. Now you can see during the coronavirus, we should. Uh, uh, re understanding, uh, re understanding customer needs. Expectation. So, I will, I will so we think not only needs, but expectation and also designs. And we need to redesigning and renewing understanding customer appearance. So, this is uh, the answer I found from the ISO standard. So, go to the next page. So, according to our study, we, we think the consumer in the age of coronavirus, we should uh, take considering about uh, re-understanding, redesigning and uh, renewing. What is what is re-understanding? Re-understanding consumer needs, expectation and desires. We should uh, redesigning and uh, renewing our standing consumer experience. So we should uh, to uh, we, we should not only achieve consumer certification, but also the consumer delight. Okay, go to next. You can see the some example in China. Oh, we can see an uh, example in China. The go to the next slide. Can, can we see? Yeah, uh, yes. So for, for example, yeah, during the virus, 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 we can stop work, 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 we can stay at home, but we cannot stop eat. So China invented the contain this uh, delivery service uh, and uh, China, uh, according, based on this uh, innovation service, uh, China published the first standard in the world about uh, contain this delivery service. And the Times Magazine also report about uh, this new regulation in China. So now we go to the next. And uh, uh, also, uh, and uh, of course, uh, the, the local uh, local media uh, have a lot of reports about uh, this uh, new service and this new standard. And, uh, and we find uh, in Asian region, many countries adopt uh, contentless uh, delivery service. So we go to the next page, we can see the example from, from Japan. Yeah, we can see the, this example from Japan. This is also the contentless delivery service. And uh, in, in Asian countries, in Malaysia, we also find the contentious delivery service. Go to the next page. We can find the example from the Malaysia. Yes. So, so we find uh, this new model. This is a new service uh, to uh, to satisfy the to uh, to meet uh, the new demands, the new expectation, and new desires from the consumer. So we should to develop the international standard. So go to the next page. Oh. Uh, so actually, in the end of the uh, April, China submits an uh, uh, international standard uh, proposal about the uh, guidelines for contentious delivery service uh, into ISO. And uh, ISO launched a uh, four weeks uh, uh, vote, uh, and uh, we can see the results. Okay. So we go to the next page quickly. Yeah, the next page. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the cover uh, of our standard uh, draft. And uh, we, uh, we can see the results. We find uh, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Iran, uh, Japan, uh, and uh, um, many countries uh, to participate in the world. And the result, we can see the next page. Uh, okay, you can find China, France, Germany, India, uh, Russia, Sweden, UK, and uh, uh, United States approved, uh, agreed this, uh, this proposal. So uh, five days ago, so ISO, uh, have a resolution uh, with number uh, number forty one, and uh, ISO approved this standard uh, as a new project uh, as uh, guidelines for contentious delivery service. And just uh, 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 this morning, uh, uh, our local TV. TV in China report uh, this uh, uh, interview me and uh, reported uh, uh, this uh, this new 
this this is the new trend and a new result about this ISO standard. So go to the next page. Go to the next page. <coughs> okay, please go to the next page. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, so so you you can find uh, this is the uh, this is the new report. So for my understanding. Uh, during the during the coronavirus pandemic and post the pandemic, we, we should to think about how can we to to uh, launch our new products and new service. But when we think about launch a new product, new service, we should to think about how to standardize it. So go to the next page. So planning on launch a new product or new service, uh, my suggestion is we can standardize it. So the Go to the the last page. Ah uh, yes, uh okay uh, this page. So my conclusion is three R and ICSP. Three R means re-understanding consumer needs, expectation desires. Another R is redesigning and renewing understanding consumer experience. And what is ISP? Because we need innovation. Uh, after innovation, we should standardization, and uh, after that, uh, if uh, we can promote our new products and new service. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Chairman, Jack has finished his presentation. So we may okay. Dr. Professor Chen Li Chung is here from uh Chairman, unfortunately, uh Professor Jen uh could not join us today. So uh okay. yep, you can carry okay, on. Okay. Marco. Okay. Marco is here. 